the, the main idea was using the Doppler effect uh, to recognize gesture. Now, the Doppler effect is okay. a thing that happens no, when you're on the street and an ambulance comes towards you uh, and you can hear the sound higher pitched if it's coming towards you uh, and lower pitched if it's going away from you. Uh, and the reason this happens is basically just okay. composition of the waves. The waves are closer to each other uh, if they're moving towards you and uh, more distance from each other if they're going away from you. Uh, so the, the way we use it uh, for our project was uh, we were streaming a high frequency sound something like I think it hurts um, and then we just move our hand towards or away from the microphone uh, and from there you could detect a change in frequency and calculate this thing called the Doppler shift uh, which is like how uh, far away from each other the, the waves are um, and using this we basically just managed to scroll uh, on a white page just doing something like that. Uh, and there was also a kind of funny thing because uh, we just had to go uh, like down and then move our way slowly uh, away from it because if you would go down and then up then it, it would detect also the fact that you went back up uh, and scroll back up on the page. Uh, and technically uh, those are like a couple of things we we used. Uh, so the methodology is uh, you would just take pay the sounds and uh, make samples of catch numbers and rate, uh, and then uh, only you would only care about uh, the spectrum on uh, a fixed range, which was something like. Uh, 18 to uh, 20 kilohertz. Uh, so you wouldn't have any, any problems with interference from, say, voices or whatever. Um, and then just a, a couple of others. Uh, it, it's quite a lot of uh, fast Fourier transforms because you just try to uh, get exactly the sound you're interested in and try not to care about other interference signals. Um, I guess this is kind of it. Um, so the oh yeah. So the way we actually did the detection is when plotting the sound, what you would see is uh, on the amplitude of the sound you would see uh, either on the right or on the left side uh, of, of uh, a certain bit of the signal you'd see another peak, so not just uh, the normal one that is, uh, is the sound itself, but also uh, the sound reflected by your hand, uh, which would be represented as uh, a lower peak from the highest sound peak. Do you have any questions? How did you look at the specific sound you were focusing on the environment? Uh, well, so the idea is that uh, this is why, this is one of the reasons why you use a high frequency sound, because uh, there's much less interference uh, when you use that, because normal voices and normal sounds will probably not reach 19 kilohertz or over 19 kilohertz, uh, so you don't really have a lot of interference. So you, you don't hear the sound? Um, well, if you're sensitive enough, yeah. Uh, some people were really pissed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, normally you couldn't hear. Uh, cats would be very pissed. Dogs as well. Uh, but no, humans, most humans would not hear it. Babies would be very pissed as well. How are they? Uh, 20 something hours. Right? It was just a half a we just like straight.
Yeah, it, it's based on a Microsoft research paper, which is somewhere in the, not sure where, it is somewhere, the references. Uh, <coughs> And we actually, I think it's just that the hardware was better because uh, we actually got better results than the ones presented in the paper. So they, they were having, um, I think, six false positives in a crowded environment. Because it, it, so the false positives were there because uh, when you're in the hallway and people are moving around, uh, the sound will bounce off people, not just your hand, right? Uh, so that problems interference. And then in, uh, in an environment wasn't like just one person in another one in a crowd. Uh, they still had like, uh, two false positives for net and we didn't get any. But I think that this was because we were using the Mac and they were using some shit the laptop. <laughs> You can put your installation.